Hello. Hello. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Jonathan Riddle, and I work on KDE Neon. So uh, KDE Neon um, is a continuous integration system that continuously builds uh, packages of KDE's software. Um, and it builds KDE applications, builds Plasma, it builds KDE frameworks, and it builds extra gear applications where they've been ported to Frameworks 5. And it builds it several different branches. It builds it directly from Git master, builds it from stable branches from Git. Um, and it builds those daily, and it builds it from download.kd.org, so it scans for new TARs, and it builds from download.kd.org using the long-term support editions from Plasma. Um, and everybody has access to this, so it's a KDE project, and so everybody who's a, got a KDE developer account has access to the continuous integration system. So if you want to test a build of your package, you can log into build.kd.org and you can see everything's, uh, the jobs are available there for everything that we build. And you can just click build to build a new package. And if you want to fix something in the packaging, um, we've got a Git archive and everyone has access to the Git archive so you can change the packaging to fix whatever you need to fix or to add new packages if you have some new dependency. And of course, you can come along and talk to us on our RSC channel mailing list. Uh, so if you have a bug re report, somebody's reported a bug, and you need to test it in a stable branch, but if your computer's running master branch, because that's what you develop against, um, or maybe you need to verify a bug report based on clean setup. Um, or if you want to test that your app works with a new version of Qt, we have Qt 591, um, then KD Neon is your friend. And, but you don't need to reinstall your computer. You don't need to change distro. You don't need to uh, even install a virtual box or some other virtual machine, which takes quite a lot of resources and time. Uh, you can use Docker. So Docker is a nifty container system, um, and it's very popular for servers, but why not on desktop too? Uh, it uses the existing kernel that your computer runs, and it uses a, a zip of a file system, so a complete new file system to give you an isolated environment, uh, so you can download from Docker servers the latest build of KD Neon. And, and we build this daily, and it builds on hub.docker.com, which is their service, um, and it just takes our packages and, and builds a new image using all the KD software that we build um, continuously on, on our Jenkins instance. And it builds it for uh, the unstable and stable Git branches, and it builds it for the user tar builds, and it builds it um, both with the default selection of applications, which is very few, and with all the applications. So if you really want to test any application, there's an image with it there. Uh, so here is a screenshot, and this screenshot shows mm, my home computer here, which is running some version of Plasma. Uh, it shows this window here, which is running a version of Plasma that comes with um, Plasma 5.8. So that's the long-term support edition. Somewhere in the background here is a version of Plasma running developer edition. And over here is just a standalone application. Um, Ocular is running from developer edition as well. So we've got three completely separate, unrelated versions of the same thing, all running on the same machine, not taking any significant overhead in terms of use. Let me give you a demo. So one simple old command, neon docker, it's a Ruby script. Uh, you can run the full um, docker commands if you want, but I've written a Ruby script, so you just run it as one command. And it pops up this window with a Zephyr X server, and it runs a full, um, it runs a full instance.
so we can see here from system settings, that's an exclusive preview of the new system settings coming in Plasma uh, 5.11 to be released shortly. But another, just a simple flag to that Neon Docker command, and uh, that will pop up another X window with uh, another version of Plasma. Uh, it's instant on, it just loads as fast as Plasma loads on your normal computer, so it's not like a virtual machine. And you can see here, this is running your, uh, uh, the released version of, of Plasma and the released version of system settings that we're all familiar with. So if you get a bug report that says, this is broken in the new version of system settings, you can easily compare it between the new version and the pre-existing version to see, is it really a regression? Is it something I should care about? And that's just running a, a standalone application, so you don't need to run the full Plasma desktop if you only care about one application then you just run a standalone application. Uh, that runs in an isolated environment, so there's no particular security risk, but if you want to use it as a full developer environment, then you just bind uh, whatever directory you need on your home system into the Docker, so that's an extra switch into the command, and then you'll have full access to your files, so you can still use uh, Git or, or Qt Creator or, or Kdevelop or whatever you need to develop with. So you can easily develop on, the, on Git master with your computer running stable. And it, runs on any distribution, so it, if you don't want to change to Neon, that's fine. You can still keep running your, your whatever distro you want to run. As long as it has Docker, then you can easily run this stuff. Uh, so some examples. Uh, this, if you saw Yoss's fantastic talk about Caligra yesterday, he popped up on IRC the other day and said, uh, how can I get Caligra unstable because I'm running a stable version. So here's a screenshot from him uh, running the stable version that comes with his Ubuntu system. And here's a screenshot running the uh, built directly every day from Git. And if you want to know more about how Neon Docker works, uh, Yoss has just published a blog on Planet KD available right now. Uh, it's also used in Calamaris continuous integration. So the Calamaris family is at the back there and they use it for daily testing. So, so this whole family has to work hard to test Calamaris every day, uh, but it's make, made easy by using our Docker images, uh, doing the daily automated integration testing using uh, Docker to make sure that there's no bugs since the day before. And this is the wiki page for you finding, finding out more. Come on, people, you missed my awesome talk. Who's got a question? Thanks. Thanks, Jonathan. No time? Have no time. There's one question. Okay, one. When you get that meta where you use Calamaris to do the installer so that Calamaris can be tested, doesn't the world, like, well, Reach singularity. well, the Docker images don't use the installer because they they don't use an ISO to install from. Uh, they ju they're just a file system, so it just uses uh, dbootstrap or the existing Ubuntu image, and then you apt install, and then voila, you've got your Docker image. So I'm afraid it's not that meta. It it, it is just just as it is. Thanks, but thanks anyway.